Problem number six, game rooms have been a long problem in areas in Willacy County, but this morning county commissioners announced a decision that will help solve that. CBS 4's Abril Preciado attended the commissioner's court meeting today. And Abril, what new rules are they putting in place? Nicole, after weeks of extending a temporary game room permit halt, to Willacy County Commissioner's Court finally announced a solution that will solve the county's growing problem of game room facilities. Eight liners in Willacy County have been a problem for local residents and authorities for over a year. Would like to see them eliminated. County commissioners placed a temporary halt on game room permits in December. The halt was only supposed to last 30 days, but ended up being in place for nearly two months. On Thursday, county commissioners lifted the halt by placing strict regulations to the facilities. We limited the number of uh, establishments uh, or uh, uh, game rooms uh, to operate in the unincorporated areas of Willis County to the three. According to Willis County Judge Aurelio Guerra, this means all game room facilities must apply for a 14 page game room permit. The application will be accessed at the county's tax assessor's office and cost about $1,000. It then must be submitted to the sheriff's office for approval. So this is just going uh, above and beyond. And, and simply, simply put, is that the reason that we had to kind of uh, uh, set regulations is because of the number of establishments that exist in a small community. Willacy County Sheriff Larry Spence says the ordinance will go into effect Thursday and those that are already open are required to fill out the application within 60 days. The sheriff's office is limited with spaces they can grant for these facilities, which he says will help decrease the number of A-liners in the area. There's going to be a lot of leg work, a lot of criminal history, a lot of background checks, just to make sure that everything verifies as truthful. And, and then uh, we'll, we'll look over the applications, and if they're approved, they're approved. If not, we'll deny them and go from there. Now I asked for a copy of the new regulations and was told they won't be available until all the new edits discussed during the executive session today are added to the list. In the studio with Complete Valley coverage, Abril Preciado, CBS 4 Valley at 6.